so I, I have a really funny story. It's kind of interesting and kind of wild, kind of like, oh, what are we going to get from this adventure, huh? But I was in a studio apartment in downtown Portland in Oregon, and Oregon is where I was living uh, most of my childhood, is where I was raised, and I made a lot of different homes there. Like, I even know how to count, right? And so it's just like, if I could count two million, I'd probably have that many homes too. Uh, so it's just like, I went from the studio apartment and I invited my boyfriend at the time and uh, he was just having the best night of his life and he was just so happy and so like over thrilled and he was just like, okay, so I know that I want to be with you and I know I want to stay in a relationship with you and it's just like, what am I supposed to do now? Is there something that you've been planning for me for when I got back? Do you need me to do chores? Do you need me to like make some money? Cause like I'm trying to be a supportive guy here. And, and he it was so cute about how like he was just thinking that I had some uh, agenda or some, and some sort of like post-it note or, or like something on the whiteboard just ready for him. I know, like, I seem so organized. I was like, oh, I'm your teacher. I'm going to show you so many things. But that was just, like, me being around, just being, like, giving him the tour and just showing him that he didn't have to be alone when he was exploring new places. So that was just, like, I wanted him to receive that and come back with that, that he was just like, yeah, you don't have to be alone either. I'm with you. And he was like that for... A good amount of time and I was really happy with that so uh, the things that got a little bit at first mysterious was that we did the act we uh, were like making a mess with each other and so we became parents and uh, so I, I was just like, I didn't even think too far into that. I, I was just like, you know, if I see just under a couple layers of what has been possible for us as a couple, then I, I see we can still make this. As long as you don't go too far into like, you're not joining a cult, you're not going off the deep end, you're not like talking to people who would get you in some kind of gang or some kind of like crazy inheritance and you're not trying to do the like whole get rich quick scheme then if you're able to like just be around me and just like just like remember we're doing this together it wasn't like every single tiny little fraction of a moment was us always together, but he was very happy to tell me that he would stay with me and we would have a kid. And then, so we started going out to eat, we started getting food brought in and it was just like we had a lot of fun times and so he was like okay Ugh. he was like if you want to stay with me then I think we should go to somewhere where our names are both on the lease and we can do this together and I'm just like you know we can, we can add your name like uh, this can be like a good prosperous joint thing for us and he liked the idea he was interested and then a couple months later I, I was looking at this like we Uh, we lived in the city when we were having this conversation and we lived in the country together when we 
had first started. And so we were just like, you know, if we can bring in some plants, if we get a pet, then it'll help. Like, we'll have all this extra things that, like, it's extra to the city, but it's like, it's homely to us. And it's, it's the right thing for us. And I fast forward to when he is like talking about now he's in Illinois and he's having this very interesting time in a bad place. And that's what he said is I just I've been waiting to hear from him and it's just like who knows what happened during that time when we were dreaming is that what I should call it like we were like coming up with new ideas we were just like being all creative and it's like I went to visit my parents and I had a lot of really good meals with them and I cleaned the house with them and we got that pet so I, I was just like yeah you know I embarked on this journey with him to go out to Illinois and that's when things went in a way that I would just call the masterpiece of a journey.